Open up arpeggios. Show me. Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy. And in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you a way to create and explore new patterns. And this can be done with any scale. In today's lesson, we're gonna take the scale of G major for alto saxes, which is C major for tenors, or concert pitch B flat major. Now, the first thing we need to do is construct our matrix. So first of all, we start by writing out the scale. And then to create the arpeggios, or the triads, or chords as it's also known, we're gonna rewrite that scale, but now starting from the third note and put that along the top. And then we're gonna rewrite the scale again, but now starting from the fifth note and put that along the top. You'll notice that once you get to the seventh note of the scale, it just restarts again from number one. Now, if you look up each of those columns from the bottom to the top, you'll see we're creating our arpeggios or our triads. And what we can also do is label these triads with their Roman numerals. You'll notice that number one, four, and five are with capital letters. That's because they're major triads. And two, three, and six are with lowercase, and that's because they're minor triads. Number seven, it's a bit different. It's got that little circle that's a diminished symbol. That's because that's known as a diminished triad. If you'd like to delve more deeply into this subject, then over at Online Tax Academy, you can have a look at the Practical Music Theory course, which steps you through right from the very beginning from how to build a major scale, all the way up to more complex ideas like chord extensions and substitutions. Now for the first part of the workout, what we're gonna do is play up each of those columns, playing the first, third, and fifth. Now this is a really common pattern and it's a great way to start out the workout. As you're playing up each of those columns as well, you can also try to hold in your mind what's the name of that triad you're playing. So for example, on the first one, you're thinking G major, and then when you're on to the second column, you're thinking A minor. All right, so you can grab your sax if you want, have a go at playing along. Here's the first exercise. Now, what we can now do with this matrix is explore the different possible patterns that we can create. So now instead of just going one, three, five, we're gonna swap around the three and the five. So now we're gonna play one, five, three, and we're gonna do that along each of the columns. So again, you can join in, and that would sound something like this. Now we can continue exploring these different permutations. Now if we start on the third, we can go three, one, five. And then of course, we can start on the third and swap around that one and five, and instead play three, five, one. Now down in the description below, there's a link to get your free PDF, which has this full workout written out in traditional music as well. And if you play tenor sax or you're a concert pitch instrument, you can also get your transposed version too. Now, if you're a premium member of my site, you'll be able to get this same workout transposed into all 12 keys. And it also comes along with the backing track transposed into all 12 keys as well. So of course, after the permutation starting on the three, we've got the final two, which is starting on the five. So we've got five, one, three, and then we've got five, three, one. All right, so here's that workout going through all six different permutations. If you enjoyed this video then check out this playlist here which is all the other workout videos I've done. Don't forget to get your free pdf in the youtube library at onlinesaxacademy.com and of course if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next week.